Alright, welcome back to a new video. Today's a bit of a different video because we're going to be doing a Roblox Studio tutorial. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. I might also do more tutorials like this in the future. Just comment some ideas and I'll think about doing them. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do once we're in Roblox Studio is we're going to make um, a screen GUI. And to do that, make sure you're... Uh, go to view and make sure your explorer and properties are open then once they are open make sure you go down to start as UI insert a screen GUI and you can name this main GUI and insert a frame and you can name this what you like as well game pass game pass frame then insert a UI corner into that now you can change this to what you like, I think I'll do mine at 0.5 Now go to your frame, go that, or type in size Now open this up, and instead of doing offset, always use scale If you do offset, the size will always be different on other devices If you do scale, it will stay the same So just make that 0, and make that something like 0 0.5 or 0.3 do the same for the Y, just offset 0 and make this 0 0.1 or something. Okay, a bit more than that, 0 0.6, 0 0.4. Then make the X 0 0.6, 0 0.5. Alright, so there we go. Now you can just drag this to the middle of your screen, so around there. Now make the, the background colour what you like. I'm going to do mine a really dark grey. Then click OK once you've got your colour. Now duplicate this frame by doing Ctrl and D. Then drag your frame into the Game Pass frame and make the colour a bit lighter just like that now resize it so it matches your first frame there we go now we have our main frame now we're gonna add a scrolling frame and some text labels go to game pass frame click the plus icon and add, and add a text label you can name this what you like I'm gonna do mine frame text now go to properties and type in text and you can name it what you like. I'm gonna do mine as Game Pass Shop. Make then where it says text scaled, tick that. And make your text color what you like. I'm gonna do mine white. Type in background transparency. And make it one. Once again, go to size, open this up, and always and always do scale, not offset. So this is my size, now we can go to font, now you can make the font what you like, I think I'm doing do mine cartoon. And just like that we have our frame. Now we're going to go on to the scrolling frame. So where it says game pass frame, insert another frame, which is a scrolling frame this time. And remember, always scale it on the scale, not offset, so size. Offset 0, scale 0 0.4 or 0. Point, I can make that one. Yeah. Make the offset 0 0.5. Now, for your scrolling frame, make the background transparency 1. Make the border 0 or the border size pixel 0. Then the scrolling bar thickness around. You can do this what you like, I'm going to do mine at 8, and I will make the colour white. As you can see, we now have a frame that can scroll up and down. I'm going to make my UI corners a bit more. So I'm going to do control and click on the other one, and I'm going to make it 0 0.8. 0 .8. Now go to your scrolling frame, and type in UI. And do UI grid layout. 
Now insert another frame and name this frame Shop Clone. Now insert a UI corner into this, so we're gonna do copy and paste into. It doesn't have to always be a UI corner, it can be an image label if you want it to. Now go ahead to UI grid layout, then make the offset zero, and once again offset zero here. Make the scale 0 0.0.2, then 0. Make that zero, zero point three. Just like this. Now, as you can see, every time we duplicate this uh, shot clone, it will lay it out nicely for us. Go ahead to UI Grid Layout and go to Cell Padding and make this zero and zero. And these will be the icons we click on to open a game pass. We can just go ahead, delete these, except for one. And as you can see, this will work on the phone as well. Now go ahead and make the shop clone. We'll add an image label into this. Remember to do the size. Now we can duplicate in the text frame for this, add it in the shop clone, and change the color of this. We will do our two around it. something like gray or black. There we go. Make the border of this zero. Make the background transparency one. And make the image nothing. Increase the text size. Now duplicate it again, Control D, drag it down here, and we can do this as price. Now let's go ahead and name these. We can name our image label, Game Pass Image. We can name this Game Pass name. And we can name this Game Pass Price. Instead of doing a white background, I will do a nice grey background. And I will also change the text colour to white. Now as you can see, everything here is done. You can mess around with your frame if you like to. I think I will, just a bit. Just like that. Now we have a really nice frame we can work with. Go ahead and make your shop clone visible equals false, so untick this. Then drag it into your game pass frame. Just like that. Now we will get to the script then. Now let's start with the script then. Insert a local script into starter player scripts and name this what you like. I'm gonna do mine as a GUI service. Now insert a folder into starter player scripts and name this modules. This is where we're gonna put all our modules. All right, now go to your, now open your local script and type local modules equals script.parent wait for child modules. Now insert a module script into the folder and name this game pass shop. Open your module script. Let's just do local game pass shop. Then return game pass shop. Let's do local players equal game get service players. Now going to replicate storage, insert a folder 
and just name this modules and insert a module script into that and name this game passes and let's just do local game passes then return game passes then close out of this one now in the game pass shop module let's do local replicate storage then let's do local modules equals replicate search wait for child modules then let's do local game passes equals um, modules equal no equals require modules dot game passes Then let's do for IV in pairs game passes do print IV. Now let's go to the game passes module. And this is where you can add and delete your game passes. So let's just do right now. Let's just do game pass or let's just do one equals brackets. And let's do name equals this can be your game pass name so game pass one then let's do price then price equals let's do 299 just type in your game pass price here then let's do image id because we have an image id so image id then this will equal to your image id Let's just do that for now. So every time you want to add a game pass, you just duplicate these lines, copy, paste, then just type two in here, then do name game pass two, or obviously your game pass name, do the price and the image ID. And there we go. Now go to your game pass shop, then do in GUI service. Let's do, let's do local game pass shop equals require modules dot game pass shop. Now let's do game pass shop int. All right, now let's make this a function. So function great GUIs. Then we can copy and paste that in there. Right now, let's do function game pass shop. Then int. And let's just do create GUIs. Now that looks right. Let's go ahead and test that. Now it should print what's in the module. There we go. So one and two. As you can see, it has the information right here that was in the module. Now let's stop playing and start to create the and start to create the buttons. Right, so let's just delete this line and let's do it for IV in pairs game passes. Do then local clone equals. Okay, wait. Before we do this, let's start getting our GUI. So GUI local. Okay, let's do local layer gui equals require or equals game get service player gui now let's do equals layer gui wait for child main gui now let's do local uh, i can't remember the name of the frame it was a game pass frame Game pass frame equals main GUI wait for child. Game pass frame. We can just copy and paste the name. There we go. Now let's go ahead and do what was up frame? It was game pass frame. Okay, make sure to change the name of this. 
So game pass frame two we can do. Then local game pass frame two equals main GUI, wait for child, game pass frame two. Okay, next do local shop clone equals main GUI. No, it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't. Okay, we won't be main UI, I'm sorry, it would be Game Pass Frame. Then let's do get local Game Pass Frame again. Then wait for child. For child. And what was it called? Shop clone. Then let's just do local shop clone equals Okay, let's do no. Let's do local clone equals shop clone. Shop clone, then clone. Just like that. Then let's do clone dot layout order. Order equals i. And let's go ahead and do the other frames. So local scrolling frame. Scrolling frame equals game pass frame two wait for child scrolling frame link frame and there we go okay let's do clone dot parent equals it's so it's so difficult speaking and typing at the same time but let's do clone dot parent equals game pass no equals scrolling frame just like that let's go ahead and test it Okay, we have an error here. Local, local, uh, let's just do local player equals players dot local player. Then let's do player. It wouldn't be players, it would be player. Now we'll go ahead and test it. And there you go, as you can see, we now have our nice, nice game pass frame. And when we go ahead and add one in the module, it will add one to the frame. So if I do, let's do free. And let's do this game pass free. And maybe we can change the price to around 100. It should work. Okay, uh, we have to do the text now. Yeah, okay. As, but as you can see, there was three clones. Now let's do clone dot um what is it it would be name okay clone dot uh what's in a clone game pass name name equals we, we have to do the module or v dot vv dot name then clone dot then clone dot game pass price equals v dot price it would be text, of course. As you can see, we now have the Game Pass set names, the Game Pass names, and Game Pass price. The tutorial is also way longer than I thought it would be, so I'm going to do a part two pretty soon. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.